Friday night for the Dodgers took place yesterday. It was a contest between, yes, the hometown heroes, the Los Angeles Dodgers against their bitter rivals, the San Francisco Giants. And all of the reporting was on the heroics of Freddie Friedman, which used to, back in the cut, would have been a diving catch into the stands. But because baseball has become so absolutely weak, there's netting up and all that stuff. So he did a little Spider-Man bounce into it and he still caught the ball. Very, very good looking play and all that stuff and oh how the boycotts definitely weren't gonna work out for anybody that takes a look and oh my god you see you see the stands and take a look at everybody who's there oh your evil conservative boycotts aren't gonna end up panning out there was something like 49,000 tickets sold so don't worry about it guys your voice isn't gonna matter at all well we got some other pictures from when all of this stuff actually took place but somebody else who got roped into the situation as well uh Washington Nationals pitchers uh, Trevor Williams, a devout Catholic man himself. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, he's Christian. It's all under the same umbrella, right? He's a part of the good team, okay? Nationals pitcher Trevor Williams doubles down on criticism of Dodgers for hosting controversial gay group Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. We cannot stand idly by while our Lord gets mocked. Hey, man, definitely. I, I'm not a devout Christian Catholic, you know. I don't purport myself to be a man of the book. I respect the people who take their religion seriously, which mostly tends to be the Muslims that are out there, and we'll get to them doing some really based stuff very, very shortly. And recently, recently, it seems like, I don't know, some of the more devout Christians and Catholics that are out there are seeing that situation. It's like, you know, we've had a crusade a time or two. It's about time that we take out our swords, strap on our armor, and go to battle. And this was definitely one of those points of ignition. Nationals pitcher Trevor Williams has doubled down on his criticism of the Dodgers for reinviting the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence to the team's Pride Night Friday. The LGBTQ group, who refers to themselves as the leading edge order of queer and trans nuns, what a what a wonderful moniker you want to go ahead and purport to do your degeneracy. Like, I, I actually don't know what you're supposed to be doing. Are known to mock Christianity and initially had their invite to Pride Night Night rescinded after it was given to them and then they took it back the Dodgers took it back and then they had to give it back because everybody on that side of the aisle the uh, alphabet community side they were uh, putting all of their pressure behind that and I, I don't know man like I, I don't know how any of that shit works how they decided that oh no this would definitely be a good look for us to bring a bunch of freak shows down there to the stadium that's definitely going to play well in front of our Hispanic base Ay, ay, ay. However, the Dodgers chain course to, uh, after, sorry, oh, our honest conversations within the organization and Williams spoke out against the franchise after saying that he was a deeply troubled Tuesday. He is appearing on Catholic network EWTN News. Williams added, it had to be said, I said what had to be said, which cannot, or we cannot stand idly by while our Lord gets mocked. It was the point Oh, yeah, it was the point when the Dodgers reinvited them, knowingly very well what they've been doing over the past 30 years, he continued. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. Because there they are, okay? They got honored with a fucking award. For what reason? Oh, because they've done such great work for the community. Like what? I don't know. Have good makeup, make their own costumes, swing their dicks in front of a record amount of kids being drugged in front of them by single mothers. Like, what the fuck are you celebrating out there? Top Catholic MLB player broke his silence after a statement calling for immediate boycott of the Dodgers over anti-Catholic Pride Night sends franchise into panic. I, I, I don't know. That's, I guess, a, quoting a tweet from Graham Allen. Nothing, nothing against that. And I know Trevor Williams is a decent reliever, but top player? I, I, I guess you're just being hyperbolic. Wh whatever. These negatives shouldn't be honored. They shouldn't mock a certain group. Exactly, because none of them want to be the sisters of Islamic indulgence. Oh, no, no. Nobody would fuck around with that, now would they? But Catholicism... Christianity, that seems to be the easy targets. I don't know why nobody's doing anything when it comes to using the Star David. Just, just a weird little thought that we have out there. Uh, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, who are known for their charity work. You keep saying that without providing any sources. We're invited to Dodger Stadium to accept the Community Hero Award in a less than full... Oh, then less than... A fucking place was empty. Christ Almighty, stop trying to be so cute with your fucking stupid...
phrasing, you dumb fucks. But no, yeah, take a look at this. Here they are. Here they are. We can just go ahead and yeah, go live with this one. But here, this was before the game, right? To give proper context on this stuff. This was before the game. You can take a look at the stands. They're going to pan around as well. And yeah, you got your two trannies and then your, I don't know, your little black handler that's right there. Okay, we're going to, we're such a proud organization while there's six people pregame. Like, I've also been to a Major League Baseball game, and right before the game, where you have all your little goofy-ass festivities, oh, take a look, we're gonna, you know, let somebody throw out the first pitch and all that shit. Don't know necessarily when this took place, but, like, I went to a random middle-of-the-season game, uh, Texas uh, Texas Rangers, back when they were playing at the stadium in Arlington. Not the new one that they have out there. Regardless, semantics and all that shit. Against an in-division rival, you know, the Los Angeles Angels, coincidentally enough, the other team that also invited those is stupid drag nuns out there to a show and i don't fucking know that's also stupid some woman who's in charge of anaheim is like no we're super we're super woke over here you guys come over here if you don't get that dodgers invite and then the fucking nuns being i'll give them points for this to be like thanks we got an invite from the dodgers we don't really need to go to uh, los angeles's second team we'll call don't call us we'll call you if we want to accept the invite but yeah, even before that, like, the stands were far better packed. And I know, and I know, okay? Like, Dodgers fans are always and legendarily slow to turn up to the stadium. It's just, that looks really, really, really light, okay? Oh! Oh! <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, somebody turned out for that. Very, very, very loud boo on that one. But yeah, no, take a look at the rest of the stadium. Yo, nobody's there. Absolutely nobody. Like, even just on that last frame that was right there. Take a look at that last frame, okay? There are more people working for the Dodgers in blue as well, standing, making sure that everybody's, you know, taking their seats and all that stuff. Even the people in the yellow. There's more people that you can see working at the stadium than people attending to see the game and it's not like there wasn't people that turned out like we can go back to the first video that's right there you can see clearly you can absolutely see there were people that turned out i've seen other reports as well that it was something like 50 49 5 or some shit like that for tickets sold so yeah it wasn't the it wasn't a fact that no 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 you guys are just trying to mischaracterize because there were a couple of stupid fact checks that i seen on uh the original reporting of the video the uh, tra uh the tranny nun video that was right there oh uh, well actually uh the tickets sold for that event it's like yeah this took place beforehand it was always going to take place beforehand and it's not like there wasn't enough people that was turning out to this event because you can take a look out here okay there were plenty and if you're anti-catholic you're anti-religion you're anti-god i gotta this is taking place in the parking lot outside of dodger stadium by the way they're gonna pan the crowd here problem with that a little over two thousand years ago there was a rabbi hillel he said if i am not for myself who will be for me if i'm only that's a good ass turnout. That's a good ass good ass turnout for people that I don't know just don't want to be sexualized at a f at the good old baseball game. Like for fuck's sakes, like there's enough balls being called by the umpire where you don't have to see him swinging out from underneath a fucking habit for Christ's sakes. So thousands of protesters block entrance to Dodger Stadium. Did they really block? Because it didn't really seem like they did. It was more or less they were holding their own counter protest outside and weren't really blocking anything. But you go ahead and you run with this. That's why I find this all so hilarious. Like the news cycle for today, it's so great. It's so great. They're all focusing on that, what, canceled podcast between Harry and Megan. And it was canceled by Spotify because they're lazy fucks. It's like, yeah, I could have told you that beforehand. But you're going to go ahead and run with that with front page news but it's so funny it's incredibly funny because if you know what's actually going on what people are looking at and wanting to know about because yeah we can take a look at the different pictures that are down here and basically have it all covered oh look at all of those nasty old folks well they're all white so that just means they're inherently bad blocking all of the entrance i don't really know if they're blocking any entrance or anything like that because it looked like there was enough people that turned out okay dodger stadium gate a okay they are 
outside the stadium, out, outside, you know, any of the gates that are there, and they're already barricaded as well. Oh, oh, okay, interesting. So which access were they blocking there? And then there's another shot of the crowd that was panned. And there's, yes, more people turning out in a fucking parking lot, not blocking any entrances there. So you guys are just mischaracterizing shit. Uh, and a whole bunch of people. A very good representation of your average baseball fan. Especially in Southern California. The Mexican flag with the Virgin Mary on it. It's intrinsic to their faith and to their culture for fuck's sakes. You went to, you fucked around and you found out, okay? Nobody turned out to your shitty goddamn ceremony where you're just going to go ahead and honestly mock God. If you want to do that, well, guess what? You're going to end up paying the fucking price. Dodgers promote hate. Well, they definitely promote just terrible comedy. That's where I, that's about as far as I'd go on that one. But yeah, it's not like there aren't a lack of fans that are going to be down there, man. Like people who actually like the Dodgers. Fuck, I'm a Dodgers fan in some respects. That's why, you know, when I was re uh, reporting on the Trevor Bauer stuff a couple of years ago at this point in time, it's because I was really happy that he got a break working for, you know, probably my favorite National League team. Like I'm a diehard and a lifelong Blue Jays fan. It's one of my first memories in my mind watching a Jays game at home. Before going to kindergarten in the day, it would have been, yeah, it was a day game and all that stuff. Dad was falling asleep on the couch with the, back when they used to smoke in the house, you know, just, you know, a cigarette in his hand but with the little, you know, reliable ash pile that's right there on the ground. And I was sitting on the little stoop right next to the fireplace. Like, it's one of the first memories I can possibly remember staring at that. And I think everybody who, you know, grew up in the, if you're a 90s kid, you remember that one television that had, you know, like the uh, wood paneling around it, the, the big tube tv that was just inlaid with the speaker on the side of it and then it also had the cable box on top it, it's one of those things i can remember just like it's yesterday but this was what like just about 30 holy fuck it was just about 30 years ago at this point in time so to see to compare and contrast baseball from then until now is a sad state of affairs but now like so many other things that are out there and why the media doesn't want to cover it it's because culture society at large kind of taking a look at how far left everything has gone and they're like nah man we don't like this shit anymore take a look at this as well and just let you just to let you know exactly what time it is take a look at these kids right here and we're, taking, we're here once again taking cues from the muslim religion we're taking a uh, taking cues from islam because here you have mothers with their kids once again and obviously you know the father's probably in the background and probably one standing right next to them they are you know, taking all of those pride flags and what are they doing to them right there well they like the rainbow they just don't like you know what's been done to it as well and hey the parents are just cheering it on and they got some i don't know white woman maybe she's uh, i want to hear this i want to hear this real quick here okay she's chiming in it's like i, I kind of like this but my kids would couldn't possibly do that and it's like get some fucking backbone that's why we're in the place that we are right now and today to leave just all our kids alone. leave your kids yeah. alone what does daddy walk up yes leave the kids alone she says ladies and gentlemen absolutely fucking based and to take it a step further earlier today in calgary in one of my favorite cities that i've ever been to beautiful place not so much in the past couple of years i've seen that it's gone down you know tremendously even though it's a little bit better than edmonton which i've never necessarily been the biggest fan of but gorgeous city incredibly beautiful city and it's kind of strange they used to no he was indian a dot not feather uh their former mayor who kind of precipitated its incredible fall and now they got some I don't know, bitch whose name i can't possibly pronounce uh, one of her uh, bylaws that she put in place is it's illegal to protest any of these all ages drag shows calgary has fallen so incredibly far but once again being saved by muslims check this out Yeah, and you see this androgynous, I have no fucking idea. It's so weird because their programming, I'm talking about the weird uh, tranny apologists on the other side. I'm, I'm not going to say a goddamn bad word against the Muslims, not because I'm afraid of them. It's because I probably agree with everything that they're all about at this point in time. Fuck it. But all of their intrinsic programming is they see brown people and it's like, ooh, ooh, they, no, they're probably good. But then it's, oh, no, they also, oh, no, they're, they're against our grooming practices. Well, fuck, we're kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. So let's go ahead and uh, default back to 
Oh, I didn't even see that fucking, you know, toilet bowl cleaner as right next to her, just staring over. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. It's a little a little tough to see right there. But no, yeah, take a look at, yeah, no, that's, that's your stereotypical libtard that's back there. No, just defaulting back to the whole Jehovah's Witness tactic of, yeah, we'll just try to charm our way in through the front door, but Muslims, you know, uh, the religion of Islam, nah, man, they ain't about that shit anymore. They know exactly what time it is. When they draw a line in the sand, uh, there's no cross in that shit. You can't just go, oh, no, we're just all about love. Shut up, you kid diddlers. Fuck off. Not in my house. You guys just get the fuck out of here. And if we're starting to see the unification of Islam and Christianity... I think I, I think that we might make it out of this decade in much better shape than we entered it. I, praise be to Allah, mashallah, and you know, the Lord works in mysterious ways. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.